opinions and stories around the game we love told by your favorite storytellers. Stay up to date with all things cricket. Subscribe to Crick Boss's YouTube channel and press that bell icon now. I think if you see the Mumbai bowlers, the biggest problem that uh, they're having, Michael, is that they just Bumrah is just not getting wickets. I don't remember when he has played seven games and picked up just four wickets. That's all he's got. And three of them came in one match. A single wicket in another, which means he's gone wicketless in five games. And it's not like they're playing him out. I mean, he's you know, he's gone for 29, 30. His, his, his average is about, I think, 30 uh, per game. He's going to get about seven and a half. So, it's not even like they're playing him out. So, Boomer is really having a season off the boil with the ball, adding to their batting woes, which are already existing. Yeah, I mean, I guess the, the positives are Daniel Sams and the young off spinner, Shakina I thought he was excellent. Um, but I do think they are trying to play him out, Gareth. I think what's happening with Bumrah that they're trying to see him off because they're not worried about the other bowlers. And mm. he's realising that, so he's gambling. He, he's trying to bowl the glory balls because he's trying to get wickets because he knows that the, the opposing side are just trying to bat his four overs. And then he's given, you know, a flicks down the leg side, uh, the odd gift. He's, he's, he's not had a great deal of fortune, but... I think he needs one or two other bowlers around him, um, you know, to try and put more of a squeeze on. And then the opposition would have to risk more against Jasprit Bumrah, and then you know he's he's a world beater. Um, it, it's just the Mumbai operation this year; it's just not working. It's just um, it, it's now got to the stage where I think it's worth them throwing in more youngsters uh, to give mm. them experience, just to see if they can earth one or two more uh, uh, wonderful young players. And then if they lose another couple, I honestly think it's time for Rohit Sharma to take a breather. Yeah, just take a breather. Just take a time. You know they play so much cricket. We spoke about it pre-match that you have to pick and choose when you're going to have those breathers. And if Mumbai yeah. can't make the eliminators in a couple of games' time, it's just completely impossible. It probably is now. It is. You know, now, take I guess. a breather. You know they play so much high-profile cricket. These players that Rohit Sharma would be probably serving himself, and now he's the captain of India, serving the captaincy of India better by having a breather away from the game in a couple of games' time. And I mean, so, miss the whole of the rest of the IPL. Just, just go and miss it. Go and have a week. Go and have three or four weeks doing nothing. Get away from cricket. Chill. Whatever he does to chill, go and do it. It's a great point, Michael, because uh, Joy uh, Rohit's got a big eighteen months coming up for India. There's two World Cups. Yeah, I mean, look, they should. They, 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 they call in the US. They call it. You know, when you can't make the NBA playoffs, you shut down the players. You know, it's literally Rohit just needs to be shut down. Relax. There are plenty of young people. Give Arjun Tendulkar a chance. Give the other kids a chance. Let's see if you're getting. You tell the other kids saying that you know what, this is like your preview for next year. You're going to play actual opposition. Go hard, try and win games. And a couple of you are going to really do well and going to make it next year. And I mean, there's lots of names out there. There's, you know, there's Mike Markande who deserves a chance. Basil Thumpy possibly might get a chance back. Sanjay Yadav. You know, yeah. Aryan Joyal. I've seen him. He's not bad at all. I haven't seen much of Ramandeep Singh, but Sanjay Yadav, let's give Sanjay Yadav, he, we thought he got a cap, we didn't know what happened after that, but uh, mm. yeah, so let's, if I think maybe one more game, not maximum one more game, but I'd say I, it's about time Mumbai shut down and start focusing on next day instead of, you know, beating the I, I, this horse. I think that this is the, the streak now, isn't this the record? This is the streak for the most consecutive losses. Most consecutive uh, opening losses, uh, yeah. uh, because I think uh, Kolkata jointly held that streak with PWC, uh, Pune Warriors of nine losses in a row. So that's oh. happened, but not to start the season. Not starting the, the season, seven. Seven in a row is a record. This is a record. Mm, well, I hope for the sake of Mumbai fans that those two, that record is not broken, the 9-1, because I, I don't know if they'll be able to handle that. But the way the season is going, I mean, it won't be nine in a row, uh, but it looks like I don't think they can win the next seven. And even if they do, uh, the calculation that we've been doing so far on Craig Buzzlai says you've got to get at least eight wins to even stand a chance. You've got to be at 16 points, right, Joy? That's the, are those the numbers you crunched? Yeah, those are the numbers, yeah, because four out of ten, you don't do it. You're not four out of eight, it's four out of ten. So you need that extra win. It's very rarely you'll go through on a seven and seven. You'll need to be eight and six. See, that's that's the thing uh, that you know. If you look at what Mumbai is doing right now, the biggest problem is that you know they do they have if their season where it's stuck, it's also a long time. See, now normally what happens is you get knocked out of a season 
somewhere towards the end of the season you know you have three or four yeah. games to go this they literally going to be knocked out halfway through the season so yeah. it's a very long time in the dressing room after that you know and it's it is a difficult you know it's like uh, i think i was reading one of the diaries i think it was phil edmonds about a tour in the caribbean where they are facing like you know the west indian fast bowlers and it's a three month tour and you're like thinking you get knocked down the first day of the first test you think there's two and a half more months of facing these guys you know <laughs> and sometimes you know, things like that you know?